Hi everyone, my name is Deanna and welcome back to my channel and today I wanted to make a video about food and other things. I wanted to talk to you guys about my food addiction and just talk about um, everything I went through and how I overcame it and sorry about my appearance. I didn't put on any makeup or anything like that because I just got done doing a workout. So yeah, I just did the treadmill. Um, I did about four miles, so yeah. But um, I think I'm gonna take off my glasses because there's like a huge glare and they just, they bother me when I'm on the camera. So yeah, um, I was seriously addicted to food and um, when I first started trying to make healthy choices, I was very convinced um, almost 100% convinced that I didn't like healthy food at all and um, basically when I would go to eat when I wasn't trying to eat healthy I would just look for something that would taste the best and that's sort of what I ate and my eating would just spiral out of control where I was eating every hour I was just um, continuing to eat constantly all day um, I was really like frustrated because I honestly just felt like I was never full, always hungry, couldn't stop thinking about food. Um, and I just, I was always looking for like yummy recipes. I wasn't looking for healthy ones a long time, ago, like, you know, a year or so ago, I wasn't doing well and my weight got all the way up to 275 pounds. I now weigh 150 pounds and it's officially been um, a year since I started researching healthy foods. Um, I did make a list of some of the websites because I did get a comment asking what websites I use like for healthy recipes because like I said I do a lot of research. I don't pay for a meal plan. I don't pay for my workouts. I do pop sugar fitness and fitness blender and I use my treadmill and I'm always outside trying to just get in some physical activity and so basically I guess the biggest thing that worked for me which I'm gonna say what works for me and I'm gonna say it might not work for you um, honestly this this was attempt like 58 of me trying to eat healthy and trying to stick to a healthy lifestyle and it was very hard for me um, I was never a thin person. I never was able to keep a healthy weight. Um, I struggled with food and like food addiction and binge eating for so long. Um, honestly, I had to teach myself how to eat healthy and that is what I dedicated a year to so far. You know, I'm going into year two and I'm, I'm really, really confident that I can stick to this because that's pretty much what it's been about is finding healthy food that I like that I can eat um, and I just have notebooks filled with foods full of healthy options I used to have notebooks filled with really unhealthy options um, and now I have notebooks filled with healthy options and I don't even need to look at my recipes I just know how to make them because I make them all the time and that's the good thing about this diet and this attempt because it was something that I could stick to I honestly like I get so I got I used to get so frustrated um, people would uh, message me and be like how about you try beach body or how about you try protein powders or um, why don't you pay for a meal plan or a fitness plan and I'm like you know what I'm not what if I can't afford it then I won't be able to stick to it then I'm gonna fail um, and I don't like protein powders I've tried several. I tried smoothies. I do not like them. Smoothies I can sort of tolerate, but to be honest, if I were, if um, like when I first started one of my fitness journeys a long time ago, I was trying to do protein powders and smoothies, and it wasn't something I could stick to because I didn't like them. So that's the thing: is if you don't like what you're eating, don't continue to force yourself to eat it because you will not be able to stick to it in the long run unless I mean I've heard a lot of people saying it takes a long time to get used to certain foods I have a huge list of foods I don't like 
that I've tried several times, made several different ways, and I can tell you what they are. Quinoa, coconut, refried beans, um, avocados, like honestly, protein powders, protein shakes. I don't like them, guys. I don't eat them. I don't force myself because I used to. I used to force myself, and those diet attempts failed. Failed, crashed, burned, done. Like, gained it all back. Um, but yeah, I was highly addicted to food. And the biggest thing, yeah, I know this video might be all over the dang place, I'm sorry. The biggest thing is, <clears throat> I say I eat breakfast at 7 a.m. I have to keep telling myself every couple hours after I'm done eating, you already ate. I have to tell myself, you already ate. You do not need lunch yet. You do not need a snack yet. Um, obviously, if you're super hungry and you can just grab an apple and you can you can actually grab a healthy choice that's awesome i was not able to do that i wanted a lunch i wanted to just eat unhealthy things i still i still struggle with um just wanting to eat constantly um even i just want to eat i do want to eat all of my healthy food like i want to eat lunch early all the time constantly <clears throat> but i have to keep myself busy and that's why i got so I got so good at my diet because with keeping myself busy, I'd either tell myself, okay, you have to clean, you have to either organize, or you have to work out, or you have to go do yard work. You have to, I have to keep doing something. I have to, if, if I would sit down and I was like watching TV or um, on social media, um, and it was like triggering wanting to go eat, I just wanted to like pause or stop what I'm doing and just grab something and go back to what I'm doing and eat while I do it. Like social media or, you know, watching YouTube videos or Netflix or whatever it may be. I find that those things are not good for me if um, it's a couple been a couple hours after I've eaten and I'm hungry. I, re I really think it's really bad for me personally to just sit there and constantly be hungry and thinking about food while I enjoy like my downtime. Um, I have to just be like, okay, you're either going to go eat a healthy snack real quick, um, to get you through to lunch or you're, I'm going to work out or I'm going to clean or I'm going to organize or I'm going to make some phone calls or I'm going to do anything that I can find that it needs to get done that makes my mind completely engaged in something else that gets my mind off food. Um, that's what I can say is the biggest tip that's very hard to just do. Um, also resisting temptations, oh, those are the, those used to be the, I used to be the hardest and I used to get so proud of myself every single day that I would be like, I just resisted pizza today. I just resist, resisted the temptation of eating cookies and eating an unhealthy dinner. And I made my, but instead I walked away and I, or I ate one of my healthy options that I came up with. And those were the things that I was proud of. I mean, it's like a non-skill victory. You get super proud of yourself for resisting. And honestly, you can just tell yourself you're happy about it. Or you can share with others how proud of yourself you are. Even though I find that people might be getting a little <laughs> bored or annoyed with me. Um, I'm very, I feel like maybe I'm a little bit too repetitive. It's probably just me though. I'm, maybe people love that I share. Or maybe people don't. Um, I find that less and less people are interested in my journey now that it's pretty much over. Um, I do still feel like I want to lose 20 pounds, 10 to 20 pounds to get to a normal BMI. Um, my fitness journey was about getting pain alleviated off my feet. I was in severe pain on my feet at 275 pounds. I couldn't even stand and do the dishes or I couldn't go to the zoo for the day with my kids. I couldn't, anything I would do on my feet I was in severe pain and I didn't care. I still went and I still went on hikes and I still hiked mountains and I still um, would do yard work, but I would be in severe pain. And sometimes after I'd be have, after I'd have a long day of on my feet at 270 pounds or 275 or whatever I was at the time, I would be off my feet for days. I would be in bed. I would be in severe pain. And it just was not good. And I'm so glad I'm not in pain anymore. That's like the biggest thing that I'm happy about. Yeah, I'm really, really happy that I look healthier. I look good. I, I'm confident in how my body looks. And 
that's great and all, but that's not what this was about. This was about me getting healthy. Um, my, my goal was to get a job um, where I'm active and on my feet. A job, just a job to help support my family because I was not able to do that. And I'm working on being able to do that right now. And it's very hard to be honest about that because people judge whether or not you're a stay-at-home mom or what. Um, this was the first year that all of my sons were school-aged and that's why um, I took the year of my son being in preschool and this is his first year of kindergarten for my youngest. This was the year that I pushed myself to lose the weight and I did it. And now I am getting everything in motion to get a job. And I'm thinking about different jobs. Um, I'm thinking about like being a fitness coach. I'm thinking about working online at home or I'm thinking about just going and working where my husband works or it's just somewhere. And it's, it's gonna be nice to just get out of the house and just like, um, uh, interact with other people it's gonna be really really nice and refreshing but really really scary too because it'll be a first for me well sort of I did have a job uh, I used to try to work but I would be in so much pain that I had to quit and that was that was one of the things that devastated me uh, and right after that my mom had passed away and so I just got so depressed and I just gained so much weight I had no idea how to eat healthy. I was very convinced, like I said, that I had, didn't even know. I didn't know. I was convinced that I didn't know how to eat healthy. That's what I was trying to say. But yeah, some of my go-to meals are like a breakfast burrito and like a whole wheat tortilla. It's just eggs and spinach and um, sriracha and reduced fat cheese. And I... I really really like a Greek salad for lunch or sometimes I have something else um, like chicken and veggies or you know ground chicken ground turkey and different types of recipes and stuff like that but yeah I'm gonna go through my list right now for you guys of healthy food websites that you can check out and before you do that I just want to say if you find recipes that you hate that you've made and you're disappointed because I, I did that at the beginning of my journey I would make a recipe guys and I would be in tears because I would be like what am I gonna eat now man like it's gross <laughs> um, yeah just go back to the store if you can uh, and and get a different healthy recipe I'm telling you I've been there and uh, I literally almost had a mental breakdown like I would be crying I'd be in tears just being like so just frustrated and fed up. I was just like, how am I gonna lose weight if I can't find a good, um, a healthy meal plan for the week? Like, I, I just create my own, like I just research. Um, there's a couple people on YouTube that are really, really good. There's a bodybuilder named Rev, not Reverend, uh, Remington James and um, a couple other people on YouTube I actually can't remember at the moment, but he was one of my favorites. So, um, fitfoodiefinds.com, Slender Kitchen, Low Carb, Ma Low Carb Maven, My Montana Kitchen, Betty Crocker does have some 300 calorie meals, Life Made Sweeter, Healthy Skinny Recipes, High Protein Foods, Skinny Taste, Eat Clean, Clean Food Crush, Chocolate Covered Katie, Rebel Dietitian, SuperHealthyKids.com, which I like to check out for healthy recipes for my children because I have three sons, and Joy Food Sunshine. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to walk over to my mirror now and show you sort of like how 150 pounds looks on me. I am short, guys. I am 5'3", so I mean, everybody's body is going to look different at different heights. I am super short, unfortunately. Like the BMI scale is saying that I can be between 140 and 107 pounds. And then it also goes into detail about a big frame person and a small frame person, which honestly, I think underneath our skeletons are all the dang same. It just depends on how tall we are. Then again, I could be wrong. So yeah, this is um, an extra small shirt that I'm wearing. Um, there is a huge difference between an extra small and a small. Um, it's like tighter in my arms. Honestly, I would not normally get an extra small, but it looked like it would fit, so I did, which might have been a mistake, but yeah. So, <sighs> okay. 
So yeah, this is how I look at 150 pounds. Oh gosh, this is... This might not be working out that great, guys. And I do... I am bloated right now. I'm on my cycle. So, yeah, I feel... I feel kind of gross. I did just eat lunch. And so, yeah, this is sort of how I look. Um, this is just a shirt from Walmart. I don't know. I saw it and I liked it. So I just grabbed it because I really needed some clothes. And so I always try to grab some when I can. And so I'm going to lift up my shirt and just show you sort of how that lo this looks. You can start to see, like, muscle definition, I guess, and abs. Like, I wish I could see it more on the sides. But, you know, I'm just not yet. So, then again, my husband says he can see it on the sides, but I just don't yet. So, I still have, like, loose skin. Um, you know, I've had three kids, so I do have some loose skin here. And you can see it. It, it jiggles like I'm sucking it in. And letting it out, so yeah. And this is pretty much how I look at 150, and I'm, I'm pretty proud of it and happy. Um, it's nice. I feel more comfortable in my skin and just more comfortable all around with my like with the with my feet. These are the sneakers that I wear. They're just black Nikes, pretty much. And um, so yeah, at the beginning of my journey, I just did about 20 minutes on this treadmill, and that's it. That's all I could do. Then I started doing videos, workout videos, with Pop Sugar Fitness and Fitness Blender. And to be honest, it was really hard. Like, um, I'd have to pause the video after like seven minutes or ten minutes in every ten minutes. Like, I would just have to pause it, literally wipe the sweat off my brow, and like slow down my breathing and then I have to get up and keep pressing play um to get through videos and I don't have to do that anymore I can work out for like four hours straight honestly I I do about two and a half on a regular basis um and it, honestly I I have two or three rest days I have cheat days now I've been able to maintain my weight I'm always finding new recipes I'm constantly always still researching trying to find new recipes it's always like a surprise what it's gonna end up on my meal menu for the week. I never know. Um, the more miles I would put in, the worse my pain would be on my feet. Um, I needed I need surgery or I needed surgery on my feet. I broke my foot in three places when I was like nine, and I sprained both of my feet constantly throughout my life. I was a very clumsy child, and um, so yeah, my Achilles tendon hurt really, like, extremely bad. Like, I would be in pain all night at the beginning of my weight loss journey, but I didn't care. I said, screw you, pain. I'm going to keep pushing. I don't give a crap. And I'm, like, I would tell myself, I'm doing this because I don't want to be in pain anymore. I might be in severe pain right now from pushing myself to do it, but I'm losing weight rapidly. I'm doing good. I can do this. Um, and yeah. It's pretty awesome. Um, I recommend you eat until you're full or until you've had the entire t serving size um, and to drink a lot of water. Also, it takes like 20 minutes for your brain to recognize that you're full sometimes depending on how hungry you are or how fast your metabolism is, I think. And yeah, overall, dieting and starting a new diet or trying to eat healthy is so hard. It's probably one of the hardest things I've ever done besides pushing myself to keep working out and doing exercises that I wasn't ready for. I pushed myself to do them anyway. So yeah, um, that's pretty much what I wanted to tell you guys. I wanted to be honest with you and just come clean with you guys and say, you know, I used to have a really bad eating addiction and um, Pretty much, I had to learn how to eat healthy um, for the first time because I never really knew what I was doing. Um, growing up, I just, I ate whatever. Um, during my pregnancies, I ate whatever. My pregnancies, I started between 170 and 190. Um, and my weight would get all the way up to like 230 by the end of the pregnancy. I did get down to 170 after my second child but I, I had no idea how to diet. I was just I was literally starving myself. I had no idea what I was doing. With this diet 
um, I told myself I was not going to starve myself. I'm not going to be, I'm not afraid to eat carbs. I did cut a lot of them out. Um, I do eat bread every day and that's one carb that I don't want to, don't want to kick out of my diet. Um, like a lot of like carbs that I wanted to kick out and tried to are potatoes and pasta. Um, I don't really eat them. I do eat sweet potatoes, but not like white potatoes. And I don't, I don't eat pasta or rice. And I, like I said, I don't eat quinoa. I don't like it. I tried it. Don't like it. Um, but I do eat bread and I do eat tortillas because I don't know why. I just, I literally felt like I was losing an entire food group, which is something you don't want to do when you're starting out, out trying to eat healthy. Do not lose a food group. Like you need to eat all of the food groups. In fact, I recommend that you look at the food pyramid and figure out how much you need out of the whole day and sort of going by that and trying to eat clean and healthy and trying to eat more veggies and um, portion control is huge um, so yeah if you guys have any questions for me I would love to answer them I hope this video made sense I hope it wasn't all over the place it kind of I kind of think it was already but I try guys I'm trying to pull my thoughts together and share my knowledge and try to help you guys because it's it is a big deal to to try and lose weight um so yeah <laughs> thank you guys for watching and if you could please subscribe that would be awesome and i'll see you in my next video bye